Welcome back to Vlogmas. Let's get into it. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you mean to me. Oh, Christmas tree. Honestly. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I am currently working from home this week of Christmas. So I'm taking my lunch break to film this vlog for you guys. And today is just going to be a little bit of gift wrapping maybe. I'm not sure. I actually don't know if I have the gifts I need to wrap. I think they might be Jonathan's. But I'm going to be filling the stockings for my parents. And then I'm also going to be doing some stuff with our wedding registry that I want to share with you guys. And all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. So to be honest, I'm not quite sure if some of this stuff is going to fit in the stockings just because they're not very big. So we're going to see how this works out and I'm going to hope for the best. Alright, so this made them look super funky and like this is kind of hanging off the top a little so I have to tuck it in. And then this one for my dad is super heavy. Also, I'm whispering because they're in the other room. But like when I put it in there, this little hanger thing like leaned forward. So I'm just praying that it doesn't fall but it looks goofy. So I might have to fix it a little bit and whatever. So my mom's is full but at least there's something in that one. So we're just gonna leave it how it is and this is what we have to work with so i thought it'd be super fun to share with you guys what me and jonathan are doing for our wedding registry some things that we're putting on it and what we're using to make our registry so we personally are using the knot um just because they that's where we have our wedding website that's where we have our guest list all our vendors everything like that and you can literally just go on here and you can attach a browser to like a browser extension to your internet um choice and you can go search whatever website you want. It doesn't matter if it's Amazon, Walmart, Etsy, like it doesn't matter what it is. 
You just go to the item you want, click the add to the knot button, and it will automatically add it to your registry. So we were going to do one on like Amazon or on Target, but then we realized that that kind of limited everything that we could put on there because if you do it on Target, you can only put things from Target on that registry. So for us, this was just easier because we could get stuff from all different kinds of places. It didn't just have to be one thing. Granted, a lot of things are from Amazon, but not everything. So this is just what we chose to use because it is the easiest and we were able to include multiple different types of items from multiple different places. I obviously have never been married before. We don't currently live together. We are trying to buy a house right now, but we don't currently live together. So we're pretty much starting from nothing. I have a couple things from when I was in school, but other than that, like we're pretty much starting with nothing. So obviously I went through and put a lot of things that I knew we would need, like kitchen supplies and things like that. Um, and then some things that we just wanted. And then of course I created a honeymoon fund. But I also took to Instagram and my Facebook actually just this morning and I posted like a poll and asked people to give me recommendations for things that either they put on their registry and really, really needed and actually use or things that they wish they would have put on the registry. And one thing that a lot of people were mentioning were bath towels and on mine I do have some bath towels but I only have like one set so I think I'm going to go back and edit that and then I also thought of some more things that I wanted to add just like for things that we would need around the house or whatever like sheets and things like that because at first when I started making it we didn't have plans of moving in together yet. Um, it was going to still be a little while and we didn't really know what, what size bed we were going to be having. But um, I think we decided that we are going to take my bed that I had at school, which is a full size and also queen stuff will fit that. And then Jonathan's bed that he has is not that old. So I think we're going to take that as well. And that is also a queen. Even if we end up upgrading our bed, a queen will still fit my full size bed that I had at school. So it's kind of a win-win. So I'm going to go back and add that. Um, and then there are a lot of people saying like cast iron pans, pots and pans. I already have a lot of those on there just because we do love to cook and then Tupperware and things like that. I've already added that. But I don't have a lot of towels or washcloths or anything like that. So I want to go through and find some stuff like that. Because everyone is saying, you know, bath towels, you go through them so quickly. And we aren't really the type to use a new towel every day. But it would be nice if we have guests just to make sure that we have plenty to go around. Um, so definitely going to go add more bath towels. And then I thought of some other little things I want to add. So I'm going to just kind of give you a little tutorial on how this works in case you're curious. So let me get my screen re recording figured out and then I will show you guys. Okay so once you're on the knot this is like the home page basically and over here on the right hand side is where our registry is so as you can see right now we have 127 gifts requested and one cash fund. We haven't actually sent out the link to this so no one has bought us anything yet and marked it off the registry that's why it says there are zero purchased. So then when you click manage registry it takes you to everything and it's going to be a little bit slow. So it takes you to everything and you can just hit manage registry and it will show you every single thing that you have put on here so far. And you can also put things as your top choice. So we already have, you know, the honeymoon fund is our top choice because we love money, um, especially for things like that. And then we have some basic household necessities like toilet paper and laundry detergent because those are expensive and people I feel like don't think to give you those things, but we would definitely use them. So we put those on the top of our list and then some um, like a knife set that we really want. Um, I also put a note on our wedding website that obviously these brands don't have to be the exact one that they get us unless it's labeled top choice because we're not really that picky. We don't really know the difference between brands. So we just want, you know, something similar to what's on here. If other people that have used things know that they're better, then we're totally fine with them getting giving us that instead. But things like the toilet paper and the laundry detergent, we're kind of specific on what we use just because we know what we like best. And then on the knife set, um, I read a lot of reviews on different ones and this one seemed to have the best bang for your buck kind of deal. So I made sure to put that as our top choice so that we would get that specific one hopefully. And then these Tupperware, I really, really like these. I have some of these already at my house and I really love them. They're super easy to clean. They are all different sizes and they're super easy to use and all that good stuff. So I put those at the top of our list. And then... I scroll down through here and you can see that we have, you know, just random stuff. We have mops, stuff for the kitchen. A lot of the stuff is for the kitchen, um, an air fryer. And then as you see right here, I have two sets of towels, but I think I may go back and add more of those. I'm not quite sure yet. And then I do have washcloths already on here that I kind of forgot about. So I may not add any more of those because this is like a huge pack of them. And also I'm super picky. So I would rather 
just get money or a gift card and be able to go buy them and feel them myself because I'm super picky about stuff like that. And then a lot of this stuff is just kitchen utensils and things like that. But there are some things that I thought of that I want to add to this. And so to do that, I'm just going to open a new tab. And honestly, I'm just going to go to Amazon because it's the easiest for me to find things on. And I thought of a stepladder just in case we move somewhere that we need one. So I'm going to put that on here. So I just search it and wait for it to come up. And then I can just search through here and find one that I like. I don't need a huge one, to be honest. So like a three-step one is probably plenty. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And it seems to have a lot of good reviews. And again, I don't have to have this exact brand. So I'm not going to go to Walmart and give me one that's fine. I'm just putting this on here as a reference of an item that we do want. And I'm not going to put it as a top choice just because we don't absolutely need this specific brand. So since I'm here... Um, I'm just going to click this little button that says add to the knot and then it will pull up a little thing. You have to log in of course. And then this pops up so you can choose your image but this is already the image of what I want it to be. And add the item name I always have to change because for whatever reason it always says adding to cart. So I'm just going to put step ladder and then it automatically fills in the price and then you can change the quantity of how many you want. And since I only want one I'm just going to hit add to registry. And then it will give you a little message that says your gift has been added. So then when you go to it, it is on your registry. So I also put things like card games and board games on our registry just because we do have a lot of people invited to our wedding. And I've read a lot of things that say you should have two gifts per guest. And while we don't think that everyone is going to come, I just wanted people to have options. So I just put this on there, you know, something fun. They could get us something small and a board game. I'm totally fine with that. Um, so I put these on there just because... It is something that we do want and it would just be cool to get them instead of a bunch of random stuff for our house that we don't actually need um, and then I also put things on here like cups obviously I don't need this many thermoses but I just put it on here to give people an idea of the stuff that we do like there's also a spot on the knot where you can go and it shows you like the knot featured items so you can go through and click on your um, designated like area of your house like your bathroom or your bedroom or your kitchen and you can go through there and it'll show you most commonly um, most commonly used items that they put that people put on their registry so you can do it straight from the knot as well a lot of those things came from like Wayfair and things like that so I try to stay away from that just because a lot of things from there I don't really like that much so I just went to Amazon and found the same type of item and I put it on there from Amazon just because I was able to read reviews and things like that but we also put things like spices on our gift registry because because we love to cook and spices can be very expensive so this was just an easy thing that everyone could give us and even if we get six of the same thing eventually we will use it they won't go bad so I thought that that was interesting a lot of people probably don't do that but I did put it on there just because I know that we'll use them and we really like to use spices another um type of item that we put on there was a lot of cleaning stuff so as you can see right here we have a lot of scotch bright um slipper and sponges to do dishes with and to clean with and things like that I feel like a lot of people don't think about those little everyday use items they only think of the big stuff like the pots and pans and the towels and the plates but we're gonna need these and i figured why not put them on there to just kind of remind people that hey we are going to use these so if you want to give them to us that's totally fine um, and then we also put like paper towels and paper plates on here just because again those are things we're going to use probably every single day and having to buy them ourselves it's obviously not a big deal but they do add up so if we could start out with, with at, at least, least a couple, couple that would be really nice, nice. and we would really, really appreciate that, that. again just, just kind of a practical, practical gift not we don't, we don't want to end up with 17 sets, sets of pots and pans like, like please buy us paper towels because, because those, those are practical, practical and we will definitely use them, use them. they will not go to waste and, and they are they, they can, can be very expensive, expensive. so, so it would be nice to get them for free another thing i did want to add on here um is another cash fund so up at the top it has all your different um areas of your house so kitchen tabletop bed and bath home and then there's a the cash funds so I'm going to click on that and since we are getting our own home sooner than we expected I'm going to put another cash fund on here for things like home decor because I don't exactly know how our layout's going to be or anything like that so I want to put on put a fund on here 
where people can just give us money and then we can use that to buy our home decor or if we get a house that needs a little bit of remodel done to it we can use that instead of having to take more money out of our own pocket just because that will benefit us in the long run is to have money for our new home together um, especially if someone is not going to be coming but they still want to give us a gift and they don't want to just send us random money they can specifically designate it to our honeymoon or our new house fund so they don't have to worry about shipping us a gift or sending us anything or showing up just to give us a gift if they're from super far away. This is just an easy way for people to help us out in more ways than I feel like people understand. So I'm just going to put on here um, home decor and remodel fund because that's exactly what it'll be used for. It'll be used to decorate our house because I don't want to ask for home decor because like I said, I don't know what our theme is going to be. I don't know what our layout's going to be. My style might change by the time we actually get into a house and things like that. So I'm just going to put this on here and then you can put that people can put any amount they want to or you can have a fixed amount. And I'm just going to do the any amount because I don't want to require people to put so much money, like a certain amount of money into it. So I'm just going to do any amount and then add. And then it says your fund has been added and I'm going to go back to our actual registry and make that a top choice. Oh, Hendrix barking like always. I swear he always knows when I'm recording and decides to bark then. So manage registry again. And then I'm going to have to probably scroll all the way to the bottom to find it. So it's right here in the middle. So I'm just going to click on it and then you can either edit how much you want people to be able to put into it and then at the very bottom it says tag as our top choice so i'm going to hit that and then i'm going to hit save and close and it will shoot it back up um, once i refresh this it will show it at the very top of our registry so there it is at the very top along with all of the other items that we want at the top and these are just saying you know we really really want this so you can ignore the whole rest of the registry and just get us this um, I also put a note on here that we really want people to either give us a gift receipt or check it off as they buy it because we don't want to end up with seven of the same huge item. Like we don't need seven Roombas, obviously. So we really want people to check that off as they buy it so that we can get more of the things we ask for instead of a million of one single thing because obviously that's not going to do us any good. So as of right now, I have 131 gifts on here and two cash funds. And to me, that sounds like a lot, especially because I know a lot of the things I put on here, we didn't necessarily need, but they would be cool to have or just like little kitchen gadgets that we may never use, but again, would be cool to have. So that's kind of what we've got on here right now. I've got a lot of stuff for grilling. Uh, I need to put an actual grill on here, but we kind of want to wait and go to the store and actually like look at them and stuff. And then whenever we do figure out where we're living, I'm going to go back and add some more home stuff that may be specific to this individual house that we do buy. I'm actually going to go back on here and get some sheets and all that stuff. And I will catch up with you guys in a minute once I'm finished searching for all the new things I want to add on to it. So another item that I thought of that we would really use is like a car washing kit type deal because we never have time to take it to the car wash and I just think that this would be better. So that's what I'm trying to find right now. This one, let me just show you guys. So I don't really know anything about car washing but this one comes with stuff for glass, protective wipes, cleaning, um, I'm not really sure what this stuff is, but a wash mitt, drying towel. I may just go ahead and put this one on the registry. And then if someone wants to get us something else that they think is better, then that's fine. But this seems like it comes with all of the things that we would need. So multi-purpose foam cleaner, rapid odor eliminator, a wash mitt, a drying towel. And then this is just armor all, I guess, for the outside. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I don't really wash cars like that. Um, usually we just use soap and water in a rag, but I'm going to add this to the registry just because I think that we will get a lot of use out of it. And I thought about it the other day, so I was like, might as well add it. So like I said before, there are some items that we're waiting to move into our house before we add to the list just because we don't know if we're actually going to need it. So some of those things are like a weed eater, a lawnmower, a grill, 
um, a water hose things like that especially for the outside and then again maybe furniture but that is also why I put the house fund on there I may go back and add a note that it's not just gonna be for decor because some people will be like I don't want to put my money towards decor I'm gonna put that it will go towards things that we aren't 100% sure that we need yet but we're kind of waiting to see about our house so those are the kind of items that I'm talking about when I say that we don't know if we're gonna need them yet so things like that um, I don't want to add yet just because one we haven't been to the store to look at them and I don't want to just buy one based on reviews I want to actually see it and touch it and all that good stuff and again like we don't know how big our yard's gonna be we don't even know if we're gonna need to do that because depending on where we move there might be someone to do it for us who knows but um with that being said that's kind of the end of what I have to talk about for our wedding registry um, if you have any must have things to put on here comment them down below because like I said I'm new to this I don't know what to put on here everyone keeps telling me the same thing pots and pans and towels and kitchen supplies like obviously that's stuff I need it's on all the websites when you look up top 50 things you need that is the top of every list like obviously that's what I need but I want more stuff that you wouldn't really think of so things that maybe you bought for yourself and you wish that someone would have bought it for you so just household items everyday items whatever the case may be link them down below it could be pet related could be related to us like games or i put on there the couple adventure challenge or something like that and it's basically like dates you just scratch them off and then there's like little dates underneath just because that would be fun and it's not a gift that anyone would think of we're gonna use it but it's not like a household item so anything like that that you can think of that you think i should add please link it or comment it down below because I would definitely love all the recommendations for this because I have never done this before and I have no idea what we need or what we could potentially end up loving. So make sure you help a girl out and do that. And I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas and I will be back again tomorrow. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well as hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you later.